Hello and welcome. My name is Bernice Garcia. I'm a prevention specialist with the YPI Futuros Positivos program with SCAN. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. Today I will share with you an underage drinking presentation. I hope this information is useful for you. Today I will share with you some information pertaining to underage drinking. We will discuss the effects alcohol has on the body and its physical and legal consequences. Alcohol is the most commonly used and misused drug among young people in the United States, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. So without further ado, let's begin this presentation. What is underage drinking? For many, this question is complicated to answer. Legally, we become adults at the age of 18, and for this reason, many believe it is okay and legal to drink once we reach 18 years of age. However, this is wrongful information. Underage drinking occurs when an individual under the legal age consumes alcoholic beverages. The legal age in Texas and the United States is 21 years old. Therefore, anyone consuming alcohol under the age of 21 is considered underage drinking. How alcohol enters the body. Unlike food, alcohol does not need to be digested. Alcohol enters the bloodstream through the stomach. Around 20% of the alcohol a person drinks is absorbed rapidly into the bloodstream through the stomach. A further 80% approximately is absorbed by the small intestines. Any remainder that is not metabolized leaves the body through sweat, urine, and saliva. There are a lot of factors that can affect this, such as if there is food in the stomach, if medications have been taken with the alcohol, age, and body size, but on average, the liver can process one ounce of alcohol every hour. When someone is drinking alcohol particularly quickly, the liver cannot process all the alcohol at the same rate, so it remains in the body. The higher a person's blood alcohol concentration is, the more pronounced the effects of alcohol are for that particular individual. This means they will display more impaired balance and coordination, slurred speech, dizziness, and reduced inhibitions. Alcohol can be detected in the blood for several hours and in the urine for several days. How does alcohol affect the body? Alcohol is dangerous for many reasons, which we will discuss in further slides. For now, we will focus on the dangers it poses for the body. As you can see, alcohol can be a danger to our heart, brain, stomach, liver, pancreas, intestines, lungs. It weakens the immune system and it can cause birth defects if taken during pregnancy. Alcohol and the brain. Our brains continue developing well into our mid-20s. This means up until age 25, our brain is still developing. In the first decade of life, many changes happen in the brain's neural systems, areas that control vision, hearing, and motor function. However, the last region of the brain to come online is the frontal lobe, which controls higher order abilities such as abstract thought, impulse control and decision making. This part of the brain undergoes a dramatic fine tuning during adolescence. Because their minds and bodies are still developing, teens have different responses to the effects of alcohol than adults do. That is why the legal age to drink is 21 years old. Now we will take a look at what other areas of the brain alcohol can affect. We will start with the frontal lobes. This part of the brain is responsible for planning, creating ideas, decision making. The use of alcohol can make it difficult to control emotions 
making the individual violent and um, display aggressive behavior. The cerebral cortex, alcohol can slow down the senses to the cerebral cortex. Cerebellum, the cerebellum is responsible for coordination and awareness. Alcohol can create shakiness of the hands and cause the individual to lose balance. The medulla is responsible for heartbeat and temperature regulation. The central nervous system sends messages to the rest of the body and instructs them what to do. Alcohol slows down these messages, causing slowed responses when speaking, thinking, or moving. For example, if you are in a vehicle and you are driving under the influence of alcohol, you are able to see that a car is coming, but by the time your brain sends the message to your foot to step on the brake or to move, it is going to slow down that message, which can result in a traffic accident that can lead to your own death, the death of someone else that's, that is with you in the vehicle, or the death of the person that you collided into. The hippocampus, this section is responsible for memories. Alcohol can make individuals have a difficult time learning or remembering things or situations. For example, those um, situations where people refer to them as blackouts, where you forget what you said or did while you were under the influence of alcohol. But now with all this social media, you end up finding out what you did the next morning when you see the videos on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat. The hypothalamus is responsible for cleaning the body. Use of alcohol increases hunger, thirst, and the need to urinate. In contrast, it decreases body temperature and heart rate, which can be very dangerous. Alcohol and the heart. Heavy drinking weakens the heart muscle, which means the heart can't pump blood as efficiently. It's known as cardiomyopathy and can cause death, usually through heart failure. Drinking excessive amounts of alcohol causes raised blood pressure, which is one of the most important risk factors for having a heart attack or a stroke. Increases your blood pressure can also be caused by weight gain from excessive drinking. Frequently, an excessive drinking can cause abnormal heart rhythms, high blood pressure, heart attacks, damage to the heart muscle, and other diseases such as stroke. Alcohol and the liver. The liver processes over 90% of consumed alcohol. The rest exits the body via urine, sweat, and breathing. It takes the body approximately an hour to process one alcoholic beverage. This time frame increases with each drink. The higher someone's blood alcohol content, the longer it takes to process alcohol. The liver can only process a certain amount of alcohol at a time. When someone has too much to drink, the alcohol left unprocessed by the liver circulates through the bloodstream. The alcohol in the blood starts affecting the heart and brain, which is how people become intoxicated. Chronic alcohol abuse causes destruction of liver cells, which results in scarring of the liver, referred to as cirrhosis. Alcoholic hepatitis and cellular mutation that may lead to liver cancer. These conditions usually progress from fatty liver to alcoholic hepatitis to cirrhosis. Although heavy drinkers may develop alcoholic cirrhosis without first developing hepatitis. Alcohol and the pancreas. The pancreas is a large gland located in the back of the abdomen, directly behind the stomach. It has two primary functions, digestion and blood sugar regulation. Heavy alcohol consumption is associated with pancreatitis a very painful and potentially fatal inflammation of the pancreas. 
The pancreatic acinar cells metabolize alcohol into toxic byproducts that damage pancreatic ducts. And enzymes that are normally released into the digestive tract build up and begin to digest the pancreas itself. The damaged pancreatic tissue promotes inflammation, which leads to further damage of the pancreas. Pancreatitis can present as either acute pancreatitis or chronic pancreatitis. Alcohol and cancer. Drinking too much can also increase the risk of developing certain cancers such as cancers of the mouth, the esophagus, in the throat, in the liver, and breast cancer. The National Cancer Institute, NCI, provides a cavalcade of information on studies which show concrete casual links between alcohol consumption and cancer diagnosis. Indeed, its report on carcinogens lists alcohol as a known cancer-causing agent, as does the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services National Toxicology Program. According to this research, as of 2009, 3.5% of all cancer deaths in the U.S. were related to alcohol. The link to this information will be provided in the reference page at the end of this PowerPoint in case this is something that interests you. Apart from the dangers to vital organs, alcohol may also weaken the immune system. A weakened immune system makes individuals more susceptible to developing pneumonia and tuberculosis. Moving on to the short-term effects of alcohol. These may include slurred speech, dizziness, vomiting, blackouts, impaired judgment, distortion of sight and hearing, and yes, even a coma. As we can see, many of these effects can play a huge role in serious long-term effects, such as having a traffic accident. If you are feeling drowsy and Maybe you can't see straight, you're feeling dizzy. This can cause a car accident. You can switch to the, to the opposite lane and you can have a head-on collision, which could result in your death, in the death of your passengers, or in the other vehicle that you collided into. Another short-term effect is a blackout. Let's say you are at a fence party or a get-together. You are 21 years of age and you are able to consume alcohol so you decide to but you have too much to drink so you pass out and you suddenly don't remember anything but you're missing your car keys you're missing your money or you have certain bruises in your body part that you in your body that you do not remember how you um, got those injuries so many times blackouts can put you at risk of becoming a victim of certain crimes maybe sexual assault um, robberies. So that's why it's very important to be careful how much and where we drink. And if you are not 21 years of age, to do not take any beverages that consume alcohol. Now we will take a brief look at what are the risks of consuming alcohol at an early age. Risks for alcohol use. Research suggests that an average American female will consume her first alcoholic beverage at 13 years old and the average American male at age 11. Keep in mind, at this age, their brains are still developing and the consumption of alcohol can damage the development. Youth are engaging more and more into binge drinking. Binge drinking is defined as consuming five or more drinks in a, in a short period of time. You are all, the way that youth are engaging in binge drinking is that they are coming up with all these different types of games that involve binge drinking. Some of these games include beer pong, which consists of having a table and they put 
those red plastic cups on opposite sides of the tables. And they have a little um, ping pong, which you throw, and the goal is to make it to one of the cups on the opposite sides. On the opposite side, if the person makes it into the cup, that other person needs to consume the alcohol. This game is fast paced. So this means they had they consume several drinks, more than five drinks in a very short period of time. Another game they are playing is also beer loteria, which is the same method of, as the regular loteria. Instead of using the little beans or the little stones to mark it, they use a little shot um, container and they just take the alcohol. Another game is flip the cup. So in this game, once again, they use a table. Do you need to place cups on both sides of the table? They create groups and the goal is to get to the last person as quickly as possible. So they have to consume the alcohol, do a spin, and at the end, they have to um, try and flip the cup until it lands correctly. So these are just some of the games that you are coming up with that are encouraging binge drinking. That's why it is very important to supervise our youth during parties and get togethers uh, for parents, take the time to get to know your um, child's friends, just to, to make sure you know who they are, you know their names, you know their parents, and also make sure that their parents um, do not support underage drinking. So if you know that the other parents do support this, maybe you can try and prevent your child from going to that friend's house and trying to make something where the that kid comes to your house so you can know that they are both safe and that they are both not consuming alcoholic beverages. Early use of alcohol. Youth who experiment with alcohol or, or binge drink at an early age are more likely to be a part of traffic accidents, may display violent and aggressive behavior and experience alcohol poisoning. If the youth has any underlying or visible mental health um, illnesses or disorders, they are also at a higher risk to attempt to commit suicide. Considering alcohol inhibits decision making, they are more likely to engage in unprotected sex with one or more partners. Moreover, research indicates that the earlier a person starts drinking, the more likely that individual will develop serious problems with alcohol, such as alcoholism or drug addictions later in life. Minors and alcohol, the consequences. We will now move on to the legal consequences of underage drinking. Underage drinking laws. According to the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission, TABC, minors who purchase, attempt to purchase, possess, or consume alcoholic beverages, as well as minors who are intoxicated in public or lie about their age in order to obtain alcoholic beverages, all these acts are a Class C misdemeanor and are punishable by a fine of up to $500. The minor will also be ordered to participate in alcohol awareness classes, which are provided here at SCAN. They will also be mandated to do 8 to 40 hours of community service at a nonprofit organization, and they will get 30 to 180 days of a loss and or denial of their driver's license. Now, I want to direct your attention to the fact that the parent or caregiver will be the one responsible for the fine, since the youth most likely does not have the money to pay that fine. This is money that can be spent for family activities, such as 
trips and vacations or any other important bills that the family may have, but instead it will have to be used for fines due to the fact that the youth got in trouble for doing any of these Class C misdemeanors. Three offenses. If a minor is 17 years of age or older and the violation is a third offense, meaning this is the third time that they commit the same offense, the offense is punishable by a fine of $250 to $2,000. It can also include confinement in jail for up to 180 days or in some cases even both as well as an automatic driver's license suspension. A minor with previous alcohol-related convictions will have his or her driver's license suspended for one year if the minor does not attend alcohol awareness training that has been required by the judge. Penalties for providing alcohol to a minor. In case some people may not be aware of, it is illegal to provide alcohol to a minor. Adults and minors who give alcohol to a minor also face a stiff penalty. The punishment for making alcoholic beverages available to a minor is a Class A misdemeanor, punishable by a fine of up to $4,000 confinement in jail for up to a year, or both the fine and jail time. Additionally, the violator will have his or her driver's license automatically suspended for 180 days upon conviction. Persons 21 or older can be held liable for, da for damages caused by intoxication of a minor if the adult knowingly provided alcohol to a minor or knowingly allowed the minor to be served alcohol on the premises owned or leased by the adult. We will now take a look at the zero tolerance law. In Texas, it is illegal for a person under the age of 21 to operate a motor vehicle in a public place while having any detectable amount of alcohol in their system. On September 1, 2009, this law was expanded to include watercraft, meaning boats, in addition to motor vehicles. This rule was implemented as a deterrence to prevent driving under the influence of alcohol. First offense for zero tolerance law. The consequences for a minor on the first offense of driving under the influence of alcohol is considered a class C misdemeanor and is punishable by a fine of up to $500. The minor is required to attend an alcohol awareness class, must complete 20 to 40 hours of mandatory community service, he or she can also have 60 days of driver's license suspension and they would not be eligible for an occupational license for the first 30 days. Second offense for zero tolerance law. In a second offense, the consequences increase. As you can see, it is still a class C misdemeanor, punishable by a fine of up to $500 and they must still attend an alcohol awareness class. However, the community service hours increase to 40 to 60 hours and 120 days of driver's license suspension. The minor would not be eligible for an occupational license for the first 90 days. Third offense for zero tolerance law. A third offense is not eligible for deferred adjudication. The minor's driver's license is suspended for 180 days 
and an occupational license may not be obtained for the entire suspension period. If the minor is 17 years of age or older, the fine increases to $500 to $2,000 or confinement in jail for up to 180 days. And in some cases, they can even receive both the fine and the jail time. So we will move on to the frequently asked questions. These are the questions that we get asked the most. This will be done on a true or false basis. I will ask the question. I will give you maybe around five, three to five seconds to answer, and then we will review the question. The first question is, alcohol will not affect my liver. So is this true or false? I will give you about three seconds to answer. If you answered false, you are correct. As we saw, chronic alcohol abuse can cause destruction of liver cells, which results in scarring of the liver, referred to as cirrhosis. The, the damage done during cirrhosis cannot, is not reversible. If you stop consuming alcohol, you can prevent the damage, but once the liver is damaged, you cannot cure it or reverse cirrhosis. It can also cause alcoholic hepatitis, and cellular mutation that may lead to liver cancer. The next question is, I can consume alcohol if I am 20 years old. So again, I will give you three or four seconds to answer this. If you answered false, you are correct. The legal drinking age in the United States is 21 years of age or older. If you are 20 years old, you cannot consume or purchase alcohol. Although it is closer to 21, it is still illegal. You must be 21 years of age or older. So the next question, if someone is 21 and over, they can purchase alcohol. True or false? If you answered with true, then you are correct. Yes, if the person is 21 years old or older, they can purchase alcohol as they are meeting the legal age requirement. Next question. A minor can consume alcohol if someone 21 or over purchased it for them. So I will give you a few seconds to think about this one. It is a little tricky. If you answered false, you are correct. This is definitely false. Remember, adults who give alcohol to a minor also face a stiff penalty. The punishment for making alcoholic beverages available to a minor is a class A misdemeanor, punishable by a fine of up to $4,000, confinement in jail for up to a year, or both. And the violator will have his or her driver's license automatically suspended for 180 days upon conviction. Keep in mind that the adult that provided the alcohol can be held liable for the damages caused by the intoxicated minor as well if the adult knowingly provided the alcohol and knowingly allowed the minor to be served or provided the alcohol on the premises owned or leased by the adult. So the next question, Teens will not start drinking until they turn 21. So again, I will give you a few seconds to choose true or false. If you answered false, you are correct. 
Remember, the average American girl will have her first drink by the age of 13 and in boys by the age of 11. Keep in mind all the alcohol advertisements and propaganda on social media, around the community, at the gas stations, maybe even in our own um, get-togethers or parties, which in a way normalizes the consumption of alcohol, which persuades our youth into believing there is no harm when consuming alcohol beverages, when in fact there is physical and legal consequences. The next question is, a person can get in trouble if they provide alcohol to a minor. Again, I will give you a few seconds. If you answer true, you are right. Remember, it is a class A misdemeanor that is punishable by a fine of up to $4,000. It can result in confinement in prison, in jail, and in some cases both, and driver's license suspension. So the last question, alcohol will not affect my body. True or false? If you answered false, you are right. As we saw in the presentation, alcohol can cause damage to the brain, the stomach, the liver, the pancreas, the intestines, the lungs, and can weaken our immune system and can cause some types of cancer. Alcohol can be a danger to many, many areas of our entire body. These are some references which you are welcome to visit if you are interested in learning more information about underage drinking, the effects of alcohol, and the consequences both physically and legally. Thank you for viewing this presentation about underage drinking. It is important to be informed about the consequences of consuming alcohol, both physically and legally, so we can help our youth in the community refrain from consuming alcohol. People who begin drinking early in life run the risk of developing serious alcohol problems such as alcoholism. Moreover, research indicates that the earlier a person starts drinking, the more likely that person will develop serious problems with alcohol or drug addiction later in life. They are also at greater risk for a variety of adverse consequences, including risky sexual activity, poor performance in school, and not to mention the legal fines and even jail time. So please feel free to share this information with others in an attempt to bring awareness and put a stop to underage drinking. If you would like information about any of our prevention, intervention, treatment, and recovery programs, please visit www.scan-inc.org or give us a call at 956-724-3177 or at 956-568-7105. Our main office is located at 1605 Saldana Street by Jackman Road, or you can visit the 1702 Hendricks Avenue office. Once again, thank you for your time and attention.